So we have a special AC Cobra today, but it is a Superformance. It is a Superformance that's close to our hearts because we had eight of them built in Mark III Roadster form with underside exhaust. Uh, it is Portofino blue with a black interior, a Roush 402R engine, and a Tremec 5-speed. So it's got all of the feeling of an original without the cost. So come on, let's take it for a ride. This one's really fun. Okay, so it's been sitting outside. We just had it running. I can uh, swear to the fact it starts cold very well um, as we've known it and serviced it for years. So let's fire it up. So I've known this from new. It's got 5,600 miles. Having owned the originals, uh, I do think that this is pretty cool. The Superformance cars were sanctioned by Shelby himself. They are a bang for the buck because they are true to form. They are, as I said earlier, and uh, more of a Mark III Cobra and a Mark III Cobra built by AC would have had a 289 engine in it. So it's close to that because it doesn't have the 427. It doesn't boil you to death inside uh, in warmer weather. You won't need a scarf unless it's one of these lovely days where we're basically hitting 50 degrees outside. Uh, fiberglass bodied, but dimensions true to form. Uh, I love the street dash rather than the SC comp dash. It doesn't have a glove box. This particular car has a radio that we installed when new. It has everything, everything that you would want to cruise around town with tunes in comfort. They don't overheat. And as we'll show you on the farm road a little bit later, the Tremec 5 speed is really great because fifth gear is like an overdrive. So you're pulling normal RPM on the highway and it is a really great cruiser as well. Okay, well as you can see, the temps are up. Oil pressure is superb. Uh, let's see, everything in the interior is labeled. So lights, fan, this is heater fan because the standard fan goes on automatically. Washers, should you need them. Wipers, um, wonderful horn. Proper AC steering wheel. So everything really does look the part, acts the part as well. Jason drove this yesterday and yeah. he really enjoyed it as well. I think it's just a huge, huge bang for the buck based on its reliability, its performance, as well as Superformance's build quality, which I think is one of the best. You know, proper Spitz gauges like the originals. It's just really, really well done. Well, luckily, right over here is where Jason usually wears his hat on backwards in a Cobra, just in case. So as you can see, it's got plenty of grunt. Signals, your high beam switch is here, if the headlights are on. This one has been loved since new with a good client of ours. It cruises with the best of them. Corners incredibly well, but around town, it has enough torque to pull you around and just enjoy it without the feeling of going racing. But we're gonna come up to where Jason is being going to be so kind as to uh, jump out and not stare me down, but just jump out. That would be really good today if you would jump out, please. Pretty please. I'm just begging you to get the hell out. As you 
can see, it sounds great from the outside. It is a lovely replica Cobra, which is one of the best on the market. And as far as I'm concerned, one of the best specifications because they are usable with underside exhaust. I mean, the cool factor is exceptional. I can't say enough about how streetable and how enjoyable this is even around town. Um, it is not your typical. It is just the way I think they should have been originally. So we're gonna go through the gears first, second, as we normally do, third, fourth, which is really enjoyable and with the torque, it pulls real well, fifth, which is definitely an overdrive, you know, second gear, it wants to boogie. And it stops and as you could see that was only third gear so there's still fourth and fifth if you you know so desire to go Mach 5 in a nice convertible with a companion with a boot or a trunk as we call it here that you can put stuff in weather equipment if you actually have time to put it on a tonneau cover if you want to leave it overnight and not get into it as a fishbowl. So, one of the best, this Portofino Blue Superformance Mark III Cobra Roadster. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.